Hello YouTube, Ronan Kazi, mobile editing, it's what you always think you're doing with this stuff when you buy it. You say, I could edit my stuff in my car or at a cafe. Well, I'm at a car. So I'm jumping into this guy. We're taking down Hornet. I haven't done this a lot. This was a pain in the ass for what you get. It's, it's as they say, the juice isn't worth the squeeze, but I'm helping this guy. I think I got my vile jammer build on. You have to avoid that red stuff. Isaac's picking up a lot of this is probably going to be one of those videos where here. it isn't what you think. So let me turn the volume here down a little bit. This guy has some directives on. This is a heroic. This Hornet was hard for me to do on heroic. I ended up switching it back down to normal or something because I just wanted that stupid thing. He has um, three directives on why, sir, this is a hard one. Why would you do this? And you're going to see, he's uh, Johnny, first one out there. I don't know if these guys have the shields on, but I'm pulsing. And I'm uh, fire flying. I'm just doing everything. Now, he does have a powerful build because he does have that uh, mortar turret thing. But remember, I'm helping him. He chose this fate. <laughs> yeah, so look at that. Why? Why are we making it unnecessarily hard? There's no point because the reward that you're getting in here is you're getting his stupid uh, healing traps, which I've tried to use that a couple times. They're horrible. I don't know. I haven't checked on the... In all these skills, there's a relationship to how fast it takes to recharge versus how shitty it is. It's a shitty skill, but if it recharged fast, maybe I'd use it more. And he goes down. And when I'm trying to pick him up, I and look at that guy's following me. So I'm going to skedaddle now. And I'm going to make my stand right here. See if I can reach him from here. And I'm going to just use my skills to pretty much try to knock him down. Now, I'm surprised he didn't quit at this point. Or is he? This is the time when I haven't done a short video in a while. So this is the time normally when I say, thanks, YouTube. Please uh, like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. And uh, I really appreciate everyone that's helped make the channel grow. I didn't get to do a lunchtime with Ronan Kazi. I recorded it, but I didn't get to do it because I was fixing my car. Excuses. And this video may not go out tonight, the day I'm doing it. It may out, go out tomorrow night. I may do a live tonight. My job is uh, an outreach and marketing person. So, I don't know, I'd say 10 days out of the month after work, after work. So, that really throws up my schedule. I eventually go, they push me pretty far back. But really, the only person I'm really scared of is that guy. Two other guys follow me in here. And I'm blind firing. I'm shitty like that. One of the reasons I like the Scorpio, because when I hit someone, it marks them. As you might, if you follow the channel, I have a lot of, uh, I think there's a big utility in showing out the, uh, showing out. Marking all the targets. That's the guy that got me bored easily. And I, these two videos are a series of videos where people in the game may, maybe that NPC was, are you mad, bro? Or maybe it's someone else. But I've run with a couple people now where it's not so great. And I've run with someone where it has been great. And I try not to call people out, but I appreciate this guy. I've already picked him up a couple times. He dies a lot. Um, nothing wrong with that. And he doesn't quit here. We're trying to get his Hornet thing. The one on Roosevelt Island, that one was really hard when you're getting the skill there. Like you go a whole separate way. I tried that on Hurok and I just got my ass handed to me. 
So now I'm heading back up there. There's these guys are close. One of the commenters, Super Slanky, shout out to you, was telling me that they're going to come out with the status build. I think I promised you I'm going to go on the uh, test server and try to look around at stuff. Uh, I went to the test server on the last thing, and I didn't like the Hasberg, and I kind of made a mistake. I do like the Creeping Death on that. I'm going to try to make a build with it. It's a backpack, so you can't use a lot of the backpacks. But having Creeping Death every 10 seconds at 10 meters makes it even more powerful. And it's headshot damage, and I'm starting to be enamored with headshot damage. So we're going to go ahead and take these guys out again. What makes Outcast the absolute worst are the stupid chargers, the, the kamikaze guys. And so at this point, when this guy's died it so many times, I want him to stay here. <clears throat> so he serves as a backstop. You'll hear me use that term before. Baseball is not an American sport anymore, but in baseball, on all public fields, like in, uh, like out in a park or something, they have like a fence behind where home plate is, and they call that a backstop. So when you're throwing the ball, it might get by the catcher, or even if you don't have a catcher, you can at least throw it and it gets stopped by the backstop. So that's the analogy I'm trying to use. Like when I'm going to backstop something, it's not going to get behind me. I'm going to be the last stop. We're not going to fail because I'm not going to let you fail. So I've been also thinking about a new build that I might in the live stream just try to make a build online and then... I don't do a lot of the traditional, I'm putting this piece in and why, and I'm putting this piece in why. It might be sort of that. That's conducive to the live stream. Normally in my methodology, I do the gameplay or I take the video. And then when I have the video done, then I talk over the video. And so I want you to imagine how hard that is. I don't know how long to leave that on the screen and how long I'm going to talk about it. I don't write a lot of notes down. I have certain things that I'm always thinking about. I have certain standard things that I'm going to talk about. If you get me on a subject, it goes right into like I have a pre-script in my mind. Part of that comes from when you're in sales, you've got to have a pitch. And you hear this a lot of times in anything. You got to have a pitch. You get like an elevator pitch and you got like 30 seconds to give your stuff to someone. And so that's, you kind of have some of this stuff rehearsed. There's some other things when I was growing up there, a litmus test is uh, litmus papers, if they even have chemistry anymore in, in schools, you would dip this paper into a liquid and it could tell you if it was a base or acidic, the pH level of the liquid. So they call that a litmus test. So also in, polit in political talk, you would ask questions. Here's the litmus test questions. Do you believe in the death penalty? Do you believe in abortion? I don't care what you believe, but you can see how those two questions are mutually exclusive. If you argue that killing is wrong on one, then how can you be for killing in the other one? So, like, people dance around that and do that, but that's where you can see a crack in someone's consistency, right? And so what I would tell you is Americans are very smorgasbord, smorgasbord-ish, easy for you to say. They are a buffet people. They pick and choose what philosophy they want to do. If someone's an existentialist, it, I, I give you the perfect example. When people say it's karma, when a Christian ever says something has to do with karma, it's so like, uh, what is that? It has nothing to do. Karma is from a whole different religion, which your deeds, because you get born again. So if you're a Christian, stop saying karma because it has nothing to do with Christianity. And I'm not Joe Christian. I'm more probably on the society of uh, Eastern philosophy. I'm doing my podcast thing here in the car. I'm at my event, and an old guy walked by me. He sat next to me, probably was listening to me talk. What the fuck is that guy doing a TikTok in his car? No, sir. I'm about to be in the program with you. I'm trying to do it out for my YouTubers. I got 20 minutes to go, and I don't think I have that much to go in the video, so I got time. And they're serving pizza. Free pizza, that's not bad. So, 
there's these litmus tests. So there's a bunch of questions I used to ask people. Uh, I'm going to tell you what an unbridled douche I was, right? Uh, probably I would do this with girls because I wanted to see if we would be um, compatible, right? Because I, I didn't think it was possible. This is how little I understood relationships. That if we both didn't believe everything lock, stock, and barrel, that how could we get along? And uh, my wife is different enough from me that I love it, and she's not so different that it's repulsive. It's I, I love my wife. Uh, I'd marry her again and again and again. She's a wonderful person. But when you don't know anything about relationships when you're a kid, I thought, well, we have to think alike and we got to do alike and everything. And that's probably the worst thing if you both do the same thing because that just leads to, I would say, I apologize to the people that are with people that are exactly like them, but that you're going to have a narrow focus because how do you get outside of that? We talked, my son and I had a big discussion about chat GPT. You guys have heard that I've talked about it and I explained my thing on it and he kind of got it. And we talked about, we had a great discussion about what's intelligence. How can you bootstrap yourself? So how can the AI ever come up with an, an original idea? It can do it incrementally. It can do incremental changes faster maybe than a human because it has nothing tied with it. But he pointed out a great article that, um, and I didn't know this, in AI, uh, an AI program beat the best Go guy in the world. Go is a game where you have uh, like 64 squares and there's lines and blah, 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 whatever. And uh, then they've had a, a super program just made to defeat that program just whooped its ass and it made that program seem like it's stupid but as you know about ai we don't really have general ais uh oh let me get to this part so this red stuff is getting worse and worse and worse so part of this whole thing is to get this warhound and it's going to help you get through an impassable part with this red stuff that part has been hard as shit for me every time I've done it. I'm not saying it's a hard part. For whatever, Ronan sucks at that part. If you ever want to see how shitty I am at games, please come watch me play a Destiny video where there's jumping. Because we'll go a good five minutes where I can't catch up with the group because I'm busy, busy trying to do remedial jumps. I am horrible at it. And just when I get better and I, like I make one jump that I never made before, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting better. And then I just get stuck. It's humiliating. <laughs> but it's also good for you to see. Because I don't know everything. I can't do everything. I don't claim to. But we're at this part right now. And he goes forward. Like, what I don't understand about people when they're playing is why are you going forward if you're dying all the time? And I got to come get you all the time. We're in a heroic. If one of us dies, it's going to suck. We got to pick each other up. Foreshadow. So I'm not far enough up, but this is the benefit with the vial build. All you have to do is put a status effect on someone. So I have three things. He's down. I have three things. And, and I don't mind running all the way back. I'll run back to the beginning. Normally, I'm not this salty about people. I told you, I promise you, I'm going to be salty about people in my computer video. In fact... If you're not editing your videos on an iPad and you're a creator or any Mac with an M1 or M2, but I don't like the Mac software. But that's just me. That's a whole nother thing. I'm not an expert in that field. I'm just someone that's shitting out videos. I don't do a video once a week. Maybe that's why I have a small channel because I'm putting out too much content. What about that, Ronan? I don't know. Anyways, please like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. I get stuck on this part. <laughs> I've died here before, but I just keep running in place. But I'm like, why the F can't I get across here? Yay. So now this is where this, you know, get this guy this is where it gets real. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. This is where it gets real. 
This gets harder right here because if you don't know the mechanics, you're going to die. This is definitely not one you would ever do on Heroic for this very reason. This is not one that you would do with all these stupid effing directives. Because if you can't complete this, if you don't know yourself, you obviously don't if you die all the time. If you don't know yourself, you shouldn't be doing this. Nothing wrong with that. I told you, I've gone down on normal or hard to complete some of this. I just want the content. Now, this Warhound will throw out green things, and somehow we're supposed to get across there. But I don't know the mechanic. You can imagine how great I am in a WoW uh, raid when there's red stuff on the floor. Ronin! <laughs> ah, to be a ranged DPS shaman when you're a shaman healer. The joys of it all. So, I can't figure it out, so I'm just going to run eventually because I'm stupid. Not that smart. I can hit that pulse button, though. So he runs up there. And again, why are you on heroic if you want this thing? And why do you have directives? This is not the time to prove how great you are. So I'm like, okay, I go here. And then he's not coming and I'm kind of safe. And I'm like, do I just keep going? And then I'm like, well, he's not there. Let me go back. Did we not? Because it's supposed to get up and go with you. And then I realize that my health's going down. And I don't stop. And then... And I go there. Now, I'd expect my bro to come get me. So, YouTube, I've been kicked from a group recently. Now, I joined his group to help him. It's okay. And I'm here for the long haul, waiting for group. I know he's going to die. He's died before. There's my boss is showing up to this thing, too. He's going to go, why the fuck are you talking? So, YouTube, I'm going to talk quiet, even though he can't hear me. Yeah, now he's down. Wait for it, YouTube. Wait for it, friends. Countrymen, lend me your ears. Watch what this guy does. And thank you, YouTube. I'm ready to do it again. Take down Hornet. Yeah, let's go, bro. Let's go. And scene. Rage quit. Bye.